Hey, this is a little quickie report about uh, me not being a financial advisor, me not knowing anything about business, me not being anything special. Don't listen to any of my advice. It's not advice. It's just bringing you information, although you should listen to it. This is Neil Zahn Dynasty. Please like, share, and subscribe. Be kind, helpful, and grateful. And buy some silver, some platinum, and some crystallized osmium because this is about actually platinum. Well, South Africa and platinum, but mostly platinum. Uh, I put out over video a couple days, a week or so, maybe two ago, about an uh, Anglo-American being offered to buy out some of their uh, acquisitions by BHP. So uh, here's uh, what the board members put out to shareholders uh, about that. So let me bring that to you first. All right, here it says, this is uh, May 22nd. Shareholders are referred to the announcement made by a company on April 25th, 2024, April 26th, 2024, and May 3rd, 2024, respectively, regarding BHP's proposal, uh, proposed officer offer to acquire Anglo-American PLC. The board of, uh, of Anglo-American Platinum notes the announcement made earlier today by Anglo-American confirming that it had received a third party proposal by BPH or BHP on May 20th, 2024 to acquire Anglo-American. The latest BHP proposal contained different terms, however. It still retained the previous structure, which required a demerger of Anglo-American investments in Anglo-American Platinum and Kumba Iron Ore. This proposal has been rejected by the board. Okay, you're like, okay, cool. What's that mean, Neil? <clears throat> well, first off, me not knowing nothing about business, me not being a financial advisor, me not being any of that stuff, I can tell you that companies don't start selling their acquisitions until they're going bankrupt. The first thing they do before they do bankruptcy is they sell off their acquisitions that they made. Anglo-American is at that point. I don't know when, but this is an indicator of them going bankrupt if things don't change. What's that mean, Neil? Well, let's see. They've been losing money on platinum ever since it fell below $1,300 an ounce because that's about how much they need to make a smaller margin of profit. So had you gloriously great intelligent people been buying it, at less than a thousand, you would have been stealing money out of their pockets because it costs them more to get it to you than you're paying for it. So that means they're losing money. They're losing money means you could make money had you bought platinum. Price is going up now. Uh, you know, whatever. Price will continue to go up. It'll go down a little bit, then it'll go up. But these guys are already hurting too much and they've already lost too much money and uh, they're going to have to sell. And that's going to take away South Africa being the largest because they, their mines are not all in South Africa. Zambia, Zimbabwe, and a couple other countries have platinum mines down there that are owned by South African countries, giving South Africa the largest supply of platinum. Once Anglo-American sells off some of their, their assets to stay stave off bankruptcy, they will diminish their uh number of shares of platinum that South Africa controls, taking GDP away from South Africa. Wow. Hey, that's a new one. Can't wait for the charts to come out on this so everyone can get on board and say, wow, I wish I had known. Hey, you should listen to Neil's on Dynasty. He put it out because he puts out things pre-charted. <laughs> for you people that really want to make money. Have a nice day.